Yeah, good day, my viewer. I'm here once again to treat the topic called palpitation and combination. But right here now, I'm not going to waste time on this. Now, before I start taking the palpitation and combination, I would like to take what is factorial because the factorial is under permutation and combination because there is no way a student will start with the permutation and combination without knowing what factorial is all about. Now there are facts in, in factorial that the student needs to understand in permutation and combination that is when taking the topic. Now what are these facts? Just like what we have in law of indices that anything raised to the power of zero is one. Now the same applies to factorial. When we have something like zero factorial, zero factorial will give us one. Zero factorial is one. Now fat. So you know in factorial. Zero factorial is equal to one. And the symbol we use to denote our factorial is this. That is the symbol for factorial. Factorial, that is the symbol for it. Just like the exclamation mark. Now, when we also have something like one factorial, one factorial will also give us one. When we have two factorial, two factorial will give us two. That is two times one. That is two. So when we have three factorial, that will give us three times two times one. That is six, and so on and so forth. That is when we have four factorial. Our four factorial will be four times three times two times one. That will be twenty-four. Then when we have five factorial, our five factorial will be five times four times three times two times one. This will give us five times four twenty times three. That is sixty. Multiply by two. Multiply by one. That is one twenty. Then when we have something like six factorial. Our 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That will be 720. Now, this is all about factorial, but that is not all. Now, at times, a question might be asked that the student should simplify. I'm taking an example on this now. Simplify 3 factorial over 2 factorial. Here, what the students need to understand is that our 3 factorial is greater than 2 factorial. All they have to do is just to reduce the bigger factorial into the smaller factorial. Now, when we are reducing this into the smaller factorial, reduce the bigger factorial into the smaller factorial. That means this will become 3 factorial over 2 factorial. We are reducing bigger factorial into smaller factorial. That will now be 3 multiplied by 2 factorial over 2 factorial. That means right here, our 2 factorial will cancel 2 factorial. The answer would be 3. Now, if you don't want to use this method, you can as well say, or oh, I have 3 factorial over 2 factorial. I can decide to break down my 3 factorial to something like this. And that will become 3 times 2 times 1 over my 2 factorial to something like this. That will be over 2 times 1. That means my two here will cancel two here. My one here will cancel the one I have here. What is left? That is three. So that would be the answer for this. Now, I will treat one more example. Then the next one will be taken in the next part. Then in the next part of the topic, I can still solve more questions on factorial. Then I solve some questions on permutation or probably combination. Now let's take this one more example. Simplify. I have n factorial over n minus 2 factorial. Here our n factorial is bigger than the n minus 2 factorial. What do I do? I reduce the bigger factorial into the smaller factorial. By repeating the first n, 
when I repeat the first n, I have to reduce the n by 1. That would be n minus 1. I reduce n minus 1 by 1 again. That will give me n minus 1 minus 1. That will give me n minus 2. So this will become, repeating the first n, reducing the n by 1, reducing n minus 1 by 1 again, that will be n minus 2. That means in that case, I have reduced this to this, then over n minus 2 factorial. That means this, we cancel this. That means the answer will now be n bracket n minus 1. That is all. So I'm going to give us a work to do. Then, once you are able to solve the work, you can easily move the answer to the comment section. And what is the, this question? Simplify X plus one material. over x minus 1 factorial. So that is the question on the board. So viewers, I'm going to stop here for my lecture today. Next class, I will continue in the next part. I hope this is very helpful. Thank you for watching and God bless you.